I think we just achieved the definition of a cacophony. If you if you don't know the definition of a welcome cacophony, to the team, <laughs> uh, that is what it sounds like. Welcome, welcome, and and welcome every person on our team, minus our glorious Grace and our wonderful Nicole, who couldn't make it today. But I want to introduce you, and Raquel and I want to introduce you to everybody on this team. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Hello. Oh my Thanks gosh! So us. we're gonna do. Yes, a winter special, which we're so excited about. We've been wanting to do this for so long, but we thought winter special is the best time to do it. So today, everyone gets to meet the team. <laughs> That's right. It's the first day of winter, technically. So what we're going to do is what the reason that we wanted to do this, and Raquel and I have been trying to figure out a way to do it with so many people in, in the room at the same time, um, is that everything that we do happens because of the people that you are going to be listening to today and they're incredible human beings we have an amazing team um who we have met over the course of the year who have jumped on who really believe in the values of what bombshell branches stands for and are basically the types of people that that we want to have in our lives full stop anyway so when we have questions from from all you who are listening who are watching um about how to start a podcast some of the recent press that we've had has been all about how we've done all the things that we've done and so we thought that it would be a really good idea to tell you exactly how with the humans that make it happen uh so we're going to start with a little fun thing and uh, we're going to just go around with some quick uh rapid fire questions but first i want to um say hello to elvin cisco hi elvin hello hi mm. uh hi glenn gusted hello uh grace harvey is not here hannah gorton is here hi hannah hi how are you doing and bosco lee our wonderful bosco hey guys <laughs> they can't they can't see you <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Did he just wave? Did Bosco, did he just wave? Yeah, <laughs> yeah just whoosh, 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 whoosh. That's Bosco. Um, and, uh, and, and Nicole is away at the moment. Uh, and, and obviously, you know Raquel, you know me. We're here, as usual, uh, on a Tuesday. <laughs> um, so, okay, we're going to do rapid fire questions. Raquel, you start. We're going to get people to get to know all these wonderful humans in our lives. Okay, Glenn, what's your favorite time of day? 1 p.m. It's usually just after I've had a coffee and I feel fantastic. Awesome. <laughs> I, I love, love that. <laughs> Smallest victory of 2021. Me? Smallest. Yeah. Smallest victory. I completed half my to-do list. See, I have a ridiculous <laughs> to-do list. I always add stuff. I'm like, yeah, I'll do this someday. And there was like 400 items on there. I'm like, oh man, I've really got to get rid of some of this stuff. So I just went through and smashed out a bunch. I'm like, oh, I feel so much better. Nice. But if there's 400, 200 is a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot. To but it's a small victory, right? We're talking small victory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Made a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Picked up toilet paper. <laughs> Window or aisle seat? Definitely aisle seat. I don't want to be trapped by a Snorlax when I want to get up and do a stretch or something. Snorlax. <laughs> I love it. Yes. One Snorlax, the Pokemon. One could give up. Probably my phone. <laughs> I feel like if I just never seen my phone again, I feel like I'd have It'd to go good. through a withdrawal stage, but then it'll be good. Which is very interesting because your wife is like a super influencer. Yes. <laughs> so maybe I that's why that. I could do that. Like, yeah, get it out. Yeah, easy. <laughs> okay, one guilty pleasure TV show. Love Island. <laughs> oh, you're a Love Island person. No, it's just I'm not. It's just fun watching what the producers can do. Like they put people in situations. Ooh. And they're like, how can we screw with these guys even more? And they put the perfect partner in there for him. Oh. Like, oh, maybe I should be with that person. It's, oh my god! Good job, producers. You so, really know how to mess with people. 
<laughs> so just so you all know as well, Glenn came on about uh, what a, was it maybe six months ago and has been doing a ton of the creative direction, has been taking over with the audio visual kind of supervision um, and has has built the entire website. So if you want to go and check so that beautiful. out, Glenn just went into the depths of the world um into his his glen cave uh and uh, and came out with a brand new shiny website for us and just was like here you go um so yeah that's glenn that's glenn always the amazing human magician man um uh, okay. okay i'm gonna do uh okay Delta. bosco cabin uh, or camping cabin indoor guy i'm a hong kong guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah hong kong people unite we do camping inside yeah. in yeah. glamorous places like hotel rooms um summer or winter uh, summer it's because basketball right yeah yeah you get to do yeah. all the things for the you longest time yeah, yeah. <laughs> um okay if you were a super villain what super villain would you be oh man i probably like um Magneto or something. <gasps> That's mine. Yeah. Stop. Hong Kong people think the same. This is what we're stereotyping now. <laughs> Good answer. Best answer ever. Um, okay. What car would you be? Oh, what car would it be? Oh, like a like a Mercedes Benz. Any style? Just any. Like a like a one like the the, the C the C four whatever or something C S or whatever. I can't remember. Oh, like the sports one. Yeah. 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 nice yeah. yeah nice that's very nice, nice. that's yeah. yeah see this is exa again exactly <laughs> the same answer as i would have the mercedes-benz c-class is like up on my vision board um and okay well i've just answered it for you your favorite outdoor activity all basketball always yeah. basketball <laughs> yeah so bosco's been bosco has done uh how many episodes now you've done the audio uh for like 30 30 episodes yeah, at yeah. least I started Dang. around like 18 and now we're at like 65. Yeah. So oh, actually, so Go over Bosco. 50 episodes. So yeah. the reason that it sounds as beautiful yeah. as it does is because of Bosco, a wonderful human being who also is a kinesiologist. So uh, <laughs> Bosco happens to do all of the things, all the movement and all the sound. Uh, and, uh, and basketball is one of your favorite things to do, which I love, which is great. Get out and move. Yes. Thank you, Bosco. Okay, Raquel, you go. Next person. Go, go, go. Okay, Elvin, celebrity crush. Oh, celebrity crush, Zach Efron. <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, a great good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Okay, dog eared pages of a book. Ooh. Which book do you have dog eared? No, the question Sorry. is do you dog ear the pages of the book? <laughs> It's, there not. is no do. There is no do. Y'all confusing me. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm going to need to interrupt because I made this Christina. question out. I know. It is not what dog ears of the pages of the book do you do because I would never be able to answer that question. It's do you or do you not? Because there are two types of people in life. There are the types of people right. who use bookmarks and monsters. Yeah. Well, I do not dog ear my pages of my book. I that use is, bookmarks. Indeed. That is the right answer. That is the correct <laughs> answer. I was like, what, is, what are we talking about? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a weirdly there. written question, I know. but okay. Yeah. <laughs> dog ear the pages of your book. <laughs> like, maybe it's your favorite book that you dog ear. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? Um, okay, anyways, what is your favorite time of the day? My favorite time of the day, 4 p.m. Oh. 4 p.m. It's the perfect Do we have time. a reason? I just... I always like it. I just, I've always vibed with it. I like the late afternoon or the mid afternoon. I like Every morning, you're like, I can't wait to 4 p.m. It's going to be such a great hour. <laughs> Here it comes. Not too hot, not too cold, just enough. <laughs> just four. Not too hot, yeah. not too cold, just 4 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Okay. The best compliment you've ever received? Oh, uh, that I have a really nice voice. You really I do. Mean, that is yeah. that is a nice compliment. It's got and a depth. What superpower? It's like deep. Yeah. It's deep and rich. See, it's mahogany. You're messing with I my do. vibe. This is supposed to be rapid, I and you're talking about <laughs> <I'm sorry. questions. laughs> Good uh, lord. Yeah. Okay, what superpower would you choose? 
Ooh. Um, just lightning speed. I'd love to just be anywhere already there. Yeah. Oh. That's what I'd love to do. Yeah. That's a yeah. good one. That That's is a good one. I, I have to ask Raquel though, what would yours be? Why do you have to ask mine? I just know. I just, I just feel like it would be absolutely insane. So I want to verify that. <laughs> I don't know. I want, I want so many that I, I actually don't know. And I think it changes all the time. Sometimes I want to breathe underwater. Sometimes I want to fly. Sometimes I want to read people's minds. Sometimes I really don't want to read people's minds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Let's do, let's do Hannah. And I'm going to just, I'm going to pick, um, I'm going to pick five out of the, uh, um, out of the list. Um, okay. Right. Hannah, uh, yeah. window or aisle seat? A window. I like oh. looking. Oh, they mm-hmm. like looking. Mm, but I also, nice. yeah. The and it gives thing. you a nice totally. ledge to sleep on too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, exactly. That. That's very true. Um, uh, what about, uh, what, what car would you be? Oh, I know nothing about cars. Um, a Honda Civic. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to be fancy, but I'm going to get you where you need to go. Okay. Like, <laughs> so perfect except for I, I know you in human form and you are super fancy you're so fabulous um <laughs> I'm not fancy I'm just gonna get you there okay <laughs> reliably um exactly. uh, okay what is uh what is the best compliment you've ever received oh god okay so my roommate said that I was cool enough to pull off riding a motorcycle I can't ride a motorcycle I've never ridden a motorcycle <laughs> but it was the best thing anyone's ever said to me. I was like, thank you. <laughs> I love it. And you're like, no, no, I'm a Honda. I'm... Yes, exactly. I was <laughs> but like, I appreciate we passed it. a motorcycle. She's like, you look like you were cool enough to ride that. And that it was the best. It was six months ago and I still remember it. Oh like... my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> um, okay, what is one vice that you could give up? Um, social media. I could never look at that again hopefully oh, oh. and i'd be very very happy and probably oh. a better person for it <laughs> wouldn't <Ooh>. we all <laughs> wouldn't we all um okay and final I'm to pick up social media but you know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i can have hannah's <laughs> there you go take mine um and then what is what is your uh celebrity crush oh gosh um oh every person has fallen out of my head um <laughs> <laughs> who is my celebrity crush uh uh florence Pugh. love her everything what is, who is for who is florence Pugh? what is, what uh, is she in? she's in midsummer uh which oh. is probably not the best example uh and then she's in the new black widow oh. and, uh, little women there you go oh. she's the one with a really sad face Oh, I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Nice. Very nice. And just by way of introduction, actually, because we didn't talk about Elvin, Elvin has been doing an amazing job on the social media side of things. Um, Elvin works with, uh, with Grace. Uh, both of them are, do on, do the social media side of things. And Elvin's going to be writing a bunch of copy as well, which we're really excited about. Um, yeah. And and uh, and also and Hannah has been working with me on the production side of things, getting amazing guests, some incredible suggestions for guests, um, and helping me on all of the things that <laughs> that a Honda Civic would do well. Uh, <laughs> hey, we need to get this from A to B. How do we do that? And Hannah's like, I can help with that. And so I'm I, reliable. <laughs> I am reliable. I get shit done. Uh, and and yeah, and Hannah has an incredible background in, in production and in, in media. So we're really, really grateful to have you both with us. Um, yeah. Woo-hoo. Awesome. Good job. Good rapid fire. Go team. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. OK, so we're just going to continue to go around Robin because I think that's nice and easy. Um, but favorite episode and what you learned from it, Glenn. Master Pickle. That's an insight. I'd say Shay that. Emery. I, re- <laughs> I really like Shay Emery's <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Master Pickle. That's such an inside joke. <laughs> no explanation. I was that after. <laughs> well, are we going to explain it or are we just going to all sit there and I don't know. It's kind of fun to just. <laughs> You'll find out. You'll find out. At some point on the website, you might find a pickle jar. And if you do, then. But wait a minute. Hold on. Isn't it in an episode? 
it's in an episode. So if you that guys is. have listened, it's like an Easter egg. A little if you Easter haven't egg. listened to all of the all of the episodes, you may not know what this means. But then you should go so, back and listen to all of the episodes and find the pickle reference. <laughs> yes. It's there. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, it's our goal for 2022 to lead you on a, on, on a, on an Easter egg pickle hunt, which sounds <laughs> terrible. I mean, that, that sounds very, oh, like, it's really unappealing. It's so bad. Yes. A pickled Easter egg hunt is where, is, that's where we're going. That's where we're going. Oh, okay. Shay Emery, Glenn. I loved Shay Emery. Right? So yeah, awesome. that was, that was super inspiring. Just like, the way he told his story, he just was so truthful with everything he went through after the concussion and everything and like where he wanted to go after that. And yeah, the way so he's she, done good. Yeah. So just by, by, for those of you who haven't listened, Shay Emery was a all-star linebacker um, yeah. uh, and, and an incredible human being that really specializes in ventilating, helping people to ventilate feelings um, and talks about toxic masculinity and talks about how to really um, process as you know a kind of like male strong male energy um, human being and it's it was a one yeah it's such a powerful episode and he's got a retreat up in Whistler I think he's got a number of businesses up there mm -hmm. you can like do Squamish, snowball yeah. yeah Squamish sorry you can you can uh, uh, shoot snowballs at each other and yeah. use axes and do do like masculine energy things <laughs> which we want to do I want to chop wood yeah <laughs> Bible stuff Oi. Bosco, how about you? Favorite episode and when you learned? Uh, Glenn actually took mine, but I also have another one. So Jay was awesome too, because like, first of all, yeah, he was an NFL, I mean, no, he was a CFL guy, which is like pretty amazing. And uh, the other one I really liked, um, uh, Mahimi. I forgot her last name though. Mayumi? Uh, Mayumi. Mayumi, Mayumi, yeah, Mayumi, Yoshida. yeah, Mayumi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was a good story. Like, um, you know, grow like her transition from like different cultures and stuff. Like I, I understood that as well, and it's not easy. So yeah. it's very brave of her, Seven. and now she's like thriving, and she's helping others in that industry. So yeah, yeah that was really cool. Bosco and yeah. I talk a lot about representation in the media, right? You know, and we've and and I've known Bosco since he was a student um, at a post secondary uh, recording school, and. You know, it can be really, it can be really inspiring to see people like Mayumi, who talks about moving from Japan and bringing in cultural awareness, not only to the projects that she's working on and creating, but also consulting with other people so that they can tell authentic stories. And I just loved how well on she shaped film, that. which is yeah. on incredible. Film, yeah, which is just amazing. Uh, yeah, if you haven't listened to that episode, great, great episode. Um, and she's yeah. such a light. Oh, she's just she like, is. She's just the most such a awesome human. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Good, good shout, Bosco. That's a great one. Um, oh. what about you, Elvin? Um, I feel like we're all just kind of like talking about each other. I was also going to say Mayumi, actually, <laughs> but I do have another one. Um, oh. I also do like the Cold Tea Collective episode. I thought that one was really, really yes. great. Kind of in the same vein as the Mayumi um, episode, in the sense of just like I love seeing. Uh, people of color representation representing themselves you know and i think that um they're both just great mm -hmm. and yeah i just love to see it and i really really enjoyed it i thought they were such great people such natasha, a good episode, both of oh, at some point i've got to introduce you to natasha elvin um if you liked yeah. that episode she is just one of the most incredible i saw i saw her the She's other day great. for yeah she just has so many structures she mm -hmm. you know she really and i think that's one of the things i want to do with our team is really take on what she how the community that she's built that over the years has been like she's so solid she really teaches you how to build community so cool. which is yeah great truly she was it was such yeah. a good one i was really into that one. Oh yay yeah. and it's cool because it's real people's stories so her yeah. writers a lot of them are volunteers mm -hmm. um but they're talking about their real stories and so I think it has such an authentic voice to it because it's mm -hmm. not like you're writing for a magazine and you're searching for a story and you're constantly looking if this is like raw stories of people which is just such exactly. an incredible take so, yeah 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 I yeah. agree more I love her subscribe to cold tea collective yeah definitely go on to just google cold tea collective and uh and you'll and you'll get to all the things great great shout Elvin yeah Hannah. Oh, right. Um, I'm going to say <laughs> I had two that were my favorites. Uh, the first 
Mama Lao. I loved everything about it. It was so, yeah. it was just so interesting and beautiful to hear the story. Yeah, I loved it. And it was nice having um, a perspective of being like from one place, but also not belonging completely. It was, yes, it was beautiful. Uh, yeah. And then I also loved uh, Carmela. I loved the idea of rushing and being busy, but then also taking the time to sit in the process of it was, yeah. And I love the idea of sitting and drinking wine while you're really busy. That was, right. <laughs> it was beautiful. It's like the, what did she, it's, the sans is is the French term for it, right? Mm -hmm. She said, yeah. so Carmela was really about, we, we really talked about um, language and reclaiming your language, but we also meandered into this kind of like retreat that she had gone on to. And it really sparked so much inspiration for Raquel and I to think about bombshell retreats and, how, yeah. uh, and Raquel says this so well, you know, giving yourself time to work on your business, not in your business and doing the five to 7 PM, being able to give yourself that time to do deep work, but then be surrounded by like-minded people. Like what a glorious concept. Could we just all have that in our life all the time? <laughs> our goal is but to be able to take- thing is people do it. Like athletes yeah. do it, you know, they go yeah. to places and they get everything taken care of for them. But I, and this is what her program was. It was like, okay, mm. this is your set coffee time. This is your set writing time. This is yeah. where we go for a daily walk. So you go in there and you have nothing to think about except your project, which gives you so much more free time to allow yourself to, you know, just your brain to wander, have conversations, be social. Mm -hmm. And that brings in this deep work. So yeah. you can't, it's very hard to tap into deep work when you're in this really busy mindset. Yeah, we Raquel and I have a goal for for our for for our team to be able to go and do one of these at some point, and just have a have just a bougie ass time. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's great. Yes. Those are great. Uh, who uh, did we ask, Glenn? We asked Glenn. Glenn, yes. we, Glenn is that first. everybody? I started. That's everybody. That's everybody. Yeah, that was we well, did Ra it. Rand Robin, Raquel, I back would to like, the beginning. I actually would like to know very quickly yours <laughs> yours and mine. I said of... not us. Oh, I know, <laughs> but I want to know now. I am not a guest. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just going to quickly say, by way of recap, Jen Murtog, who I ran into in the street yesterday. Stop. I did. Oh, ran into her in, her in human form in the street. Um, so I just want to do a little shout out for that because I know that they've got a new, a new um, course coming out in 2022, and I really highly recommend it. Um, and I think that we need to get Jen back so that I'm just going to put, pop that in there for anyone who hasn't listened to that episode as you're setting up for yeah. your goals, like career coach wise, like get, get Jen in your life. That's it. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should actually post that on social. We'll remind people about that episode because I do think that's a really good planning for the next year. Yeah, planning time. Planning. Okay, time. we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Glenn, what is your yes. biggest career pain point? <laughs> Ooh, uh, I'm 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 gonna say when after I left university, I was just interested in so many different things like I don't want to do this and I wanted to do that I was like what do I do and there was just too many choices to pick and yeah it took me a while but after I realized that like I ended up just doing like little things in each area and then after a while I was like you know what I don't want to be like an amateur at a thousand things I'd rather just be really good at a few things so I just focused it down and once I figured that out it was definitely a lot more relaxing I, I want to give a tiny, tiny bit of context to our audience as well here, because what a lot of you don't know is that behind the scenes, we have, uh, we are devising career pathway plans for everyone on the team. So because, as you all know, I specialize in career pathways in media and entertainment, and Raquel is just so shit hot at all of the marketing and communication side of things, we realized that we wanted to create an incredibly circular value based kind of infrastructure within bombshell branches. So we'll tell you more about that when that comes up in the next year. I'm really, really excited for you to learn about that. But one of the biggest things that I wanna get out of this question here is to encourage you at the end of the year to think about what your biggest career pain points are as you're listening to Glenn, as you're listening to Elvin and Hannah, because so many of us get stuck in these little things and 
if you tell us on social media what your biggest career pain point might be, then we can try and find a specialist or someone to come in to speak to that point, whether it's me or someone else or someone in our network. So have a think about that. Glenn, I just wanna say that in this situation, you having all of these skills has been so much to your credit, but I watched how frustrated you were at the beginning because you were building this massive foundation with all these different skills, audio engineering, because you can do audio, visual, sound design, com composition. You know, we've written a song together. There's so, you get decision fatigue sometimes, but if you can distill it, then you end up being an absolute powerhouse. And then the skills that you need to find are actually in the entrepreneurial side rather than the hard skills. And that would go for, you know, Elvin and Hannah as well. So anyway, I just wanted to give that context. Um, and then I want to, I want to pass it on to someone to Bosco. What has been your biggest career pain point Bosco? Uh, I mean, like in the beginning, I, I mean, like back when I was in my second year, I didn't want to continue like the kin program. I was like, like, I was like, I just suddenly like, either I just, just didn't know what I wanted to do anymore because I want to go chiropractic college afterward. Mm -hmm. But so I was like extremely torn between like that and like want to do like audio and like music. But, and then I was just like, I'm like halfway there. And I really think it doesn't make any sense to turn around. So and then mm -hmm. in a way, I'm like glad I did that. So now I have like a kid job as well. Right. Yeah. But honestly, like, yeah, like, and honestly, it's like an upbringing thing too. Like some people would just drop out, but like, like that ain't the way. <laughs> that ain't the <laughs> way. Yeah, I, I, ha I have to push forward. Yeah, so I graduated you know, and I'm free. Like, and now I can like kind of do two things, and I ended up going to like audio school anyway afterward. Yeah. So like, if I turned around and that wouldn't have a kid degree. <laughs> Yeah. And, yeah. You, and you're working in kinesiology right now as well as audio. So yeah, yeah. I think a so. biggest, a really big pain point for a lot of people from the work I've done with Bosco is, yeah. is knowing that you can get, you can do more than one thing as your, as your yeah. quote unquote specialty. And sometimes you get paid, it comes in waves. Sometimes you get paid mm. more for one thing and sometimes you get paid for more in the other, but it's your job to continue to learn and train and be that kind of professional athlete in both of those realms if you want to keep growing. So great answer. Good job, Bosco. Yeah. How about you, Hannah? Hello there. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say me. Fight. Fight a, flip a coin. Uh, go, go with Hannah. Okay. So I'm going to say that my biggest pain point uh, is more of like an introspective thing. Uh, it was my own expectations for what my career or what my dream job was going to look like. Oh, I know. Um, so I falling out of love with a job that I thought was going to be my career was one of the biggest things that I've learned in the last year. Mm. Uh, it's so important that I did, and I'm so much better for it. However, that was <laughs> the most difficult thing <laughs> while going through it. Oh, I know this story <laughs> and the feeling. I think well, the feeling yeah. of falling out of love with a career job is it's hard especially I mean I don't know the story um I don't know how far you're landing from your career but sometimes people finish whole degrees or more and then mm -hmm. decide okay this isn't really what I want and it's really difficult to make that next decision to okay where am I going to go now yeah so how yeah. did you deal with that out of curiosity a lot of crying. <laughs> oh, um, it was it was a lot of talks. I I hung out with Elvin quite a bit uh, and basically complained about my job to the point in which I could no longer complain and I just had to do something about it. Um, so that was probably my biggest thing, uh, and it was just sort of coming to the the conclusion myself and knowing that like even though it was not how I'd anticipated that situation going. Uh, it was going to be much better for me in the long run, uh, even though I had all of these ideas of how it was going to go in the beginning. I know a little bit more of this context as well. And I will say that Hannah is extremely resourceful. Like I met Hannah years ago and saw her um, resume come across my desk and 
and and held on to it for eight months i think it was or something it was like i, I just i got in touch with you again um because i refused to yeah, let go of your yeah after we interviewed um hannah and one of the things that i will say about when you do realize that a job is toxic it doesn't mean a career is um and you still work in that industry so you're great good job <laughs> <laughs> Love it. How about you, Elvin? Um, I think for me, it's a lot of self-doubt, I think. Um, that's really been a, a career thing for me. Um, just thinking you're like not good enough to like be in it or you see other people succeeding and you just like staying behind or whatever it is. So it's like mm -hmm. relearning to be content with yourself and knowing that you are good enough is something that's really been a struggle for me in my life a little bit. So mm. I think that's something that you know going to therapy talking to people like you all like really it's um it helps it helps you get through it you know I think it really is something that like sometimes people need to go through I feel like if I didn't go through that I wouldn't be here where I am right now as well you know I uh, that's so amazing Elvin that you know to have that moment where you can be like I need to find people to give me this framework because mm -hmm. we don't know how to open all the doors in the world. Like you just don't know. So finding that, having just honoring that mental health and acknowledging it, I think it's just totally. incredible to do it. And I think totally. different perspectives as well. Cause you know, when you're a perfectionist, you can sometimes think, so for example, if there's a job opening, um, you may not go for it because you don't 110% check every single box. And the best person to talk to is Christina about that because she will tell you, go for it because they'll be happy with 80% or whatever it is, or that you have these other skill sets that they didn't write down and they didn't know they needed, but you have, yeah. and yeah. you can spin that and sell it. And I think when you are a bit of a perfectionist, it can be really difficult to see yourself that way because you're very self-critical yeah. instead of, you know, seeing yourself as a product of, okay, how can I sell all of this, um, education and learnings and experience that I've amassed, which yeah, Christine is the best cheerleader to have in your corner for that. <laughs> you are. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is what we'll be doing in the new year really is like let, figuring these things out because everyone has such an individually different barrier, right? There are certain things that, and for me, understanding and helping ev all of our team understand it doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be done. <laughs> That's it. Like when you, when you give, are getting, are given the safety to know that, then you can, you, what you think is uh, like just done is probably better than I could ever do. And, and that's, and same with like Bosco, when I listen to this, these audio, like when I listen back to our podcast, I'm like, I could never do that job. <laughs> like, and I would not be able, if Bosco was like, oh, this bit wasn't perfect. I would never know. I would always think it's amazing. Yeah. Um, so done and not perfect has really helped, um, a lot, but yeah, that's a great, yeah, that's great. Elvin. Um, okay. So we've got two more questions and I want to like rush through this first one because I want to get to the last one. Um, <sighs> and I think this is so important. What is your biggest and most bodacious goal right now? Glenn. Oh, definitely to score the music to a feature film or a TV Ooh. show. Ooh. Yeah. I like love it. it. It's the dream. Okay. The dream. Let's get you, let, we're, we're going to get you there. Um, <laughs> Elvin. Uh, I want to learn a new language actually is what I want to do. Ooh. actually yeah i really do, do you have a I've chosen been, language uh i don't know i've been kind of into portuguese for some reason i don't know why mm. maybe i've just been like listening to a lot of music or something who knows but uh yeah that's what i want to do that's definitely something i want to do portuguese is beautiful Fa do you listen to fado like the genre? no i don't but i've heard i've heard that it's really good so i it don't is. really or maybe i do and i don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah awesome bosco is this a goal for like the next year? Yeah, like, like the biggest, most like like badass goal that you have. Oh, I I I have I have a lot of those, but like or right now, I've I've been like training really hard the last ever since I started playing basketball. I've been training to like get my cardio up. I'm trying mm. to like I'm <laughs> just trying to be better player. I'm trying to like averaging like eight points this season. Now on the next season starts in January and trying to average like twelve. You know, like. That's and I'm trying biggest, to like cardio your, wise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, hey, I my biggest goal in that round would be to like actually hit the ball and bounce it. For, like, <laughs> uh, I found times. my love for basketball again. That was my that was my first love. Basketball, my first love. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yay! That's cool. Awesome. How about you, Hannah? Um, I would like to travel. I want to go to Greece and have a little Mamma Mia moment. Oh my god! I mean, not gosh. completely Mamma Mia, but you know, a little. <laughs> I have three fathers. <laughs> not quite that. Yeah. yeah oh i love that that's so great yeah oh my gosh could you imagine a bombshell retreat in greece can we please we're just doing, go um, scout yeah. three father we're doing our wedding in greece <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing three, three fathers retreat hey, everyone gets three dads <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> you get a dad you get a dad <laughs> oh i love it um okay that's is that everyone did we we got everyone everyone okay yes. now final thing what are your top resources or wait media? what was elvin's big goal oh language language, language. language. sorry okay just kidding <laughs> <laughs> just just you're kidding. going out of order from what my screen is so my round robin is no longer the round robin oh i was had. not yes i did not listen to those instructions i apologize no, you did not. i, I did was not like we're just, we're just we're all Long messed up gone. we didn't do the we didn't do the rapid fire our round robin is all over the place <laughs> <laughs> my this brain's is... gonna explode <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry but you love me anyway um, I, m very much <laughs> <laughs> very much and raquel is like this is out of order <laughs> i've got two goats screaming outside of this window in i'm just biting my nails <laughs> just... <laughs> okay um okay raquel do you want to take the last the last question then for everyone i'll let Let's you do it, it. Get, okay get, get yourself the order i'll say nothing i'm gonna now. i'm gonna go back into order okay um top resources or media that you're super into right meow glenn right meow podcast book show anything yeah right meow podcast the smartless podcast i don't know if you guys have heard what that it? it's uh jason smartless? bateman will on it and yeah it's a podcast it's really funny three awesome actors and they just they just vibe so well together like you two yeah. it's a really really cool podcast they 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 do some cool people like tom hanks jerry seinfeld I've interviewed some cool guests. Wow. And uh, yeah, they make fun of each other all the time. It's great. Yes. And resources. Uh, the Waking Up app, it's uh, by Sam Harris. He's a neuroscientist, philosopher. I listen to that every morning. It's like a meditation app and he does a lot of awesome talks on philosophy and the state of consciousness and stuff. So Ooh. it's a really cool app. Uh, my you Kindle, I, I wouldn't be able to live without my Kindle. I read that every morning. <laughs> nice. What am I up to? I wouldn't be able to live without my Kindle. <laughs> nope. We I know what live. you're not throwing away. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, Rick and Morty. I love that TV show. It's just, it's just great. <laughs> That's all there is to say about that. <laughs> and French Earl Grey tea from David's Tea. Oh so good best tea ever so good i love it bosco yeah. how about you uh well, i've been reading as well a lot but like just like fiction like historical fiction and like Ooh. these psych thrillers they're good they um, they, they they help me it's chill there's like some really good ones out there. The silent the patient psych is amazing thrillers help you yeah, chill. the silent patient <laughs> the silent patient is probably going to become a movie that one's a, okay. yeah. They have a lot of, and you know these vitamin C drinks you buy at Costco. You open them and you stick them and you pour them into like they turn the drink yellow. That stuff yeah. is like amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's <'Cause> cardio <laughs> training. <so>. Simple man. <laughs> <laughs> Psycho thrillers and vitamin C drinks. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Yeah. Do you mean like That's emergency? It. Are you talking about yeah, emergency? And it's and a C. I think yeah, yeah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Not Hennessy <laughs> emergency. Drink <laughs> emergency, not Hennessy. That's the that's the that's their motto. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. I love it. How about you, Elvin? <laughs> um, so uh, also book. Uh, I've been reading the meaning of Mariah Carey. Actually, very me. Um, so it just I love just like it's it's so good seeing somebody start from the bottom, go to the top, and just the person behind it. Love to see that. Also, the secret, the book about manifestation. Um, somebody yes. recommended it to me, and I've just started it a couple days ago, actually. So that's really, uh, I, I'm liking it thus far. I would recommend it to anybody who's reading it if you want to just figure that whole concept out. I think it's just so interesting. So mm-hmm. go on that. Also, a true crime mile higher podcast. For some reason, it just gives me, it calms me down. The mile higher podcast. <laughs> Yeah. Mile I need to do research on on the crime, the true crime podcast because they are so huge. It's such sure. a massive yeah, niche. Insane. People go They're nuts insane. for it, but it's got to be terrifying. Although I saw this it's... one woman on Instagram, and she does. I don't know if you guys have seen her. She just like you know how auto populates and and the reels come up and whatever. Oh no, it was Facebook. Sorry, yeah. it was Facebook. Anyways, it auto populates, and she does her makeup while telling a true Mm, crime story and it's I don't know what it is but it's I don't ever get hooked onto those videos but those (laughs) I'm mesmerized I don't know what it is it's like the calming movement of her (laughs) makeup mixed with this really horrible (laughs) story and then he dragged her down the stairs (laughs) (laughs) putting on mascara that's how you put on mascara Glenn (laughs) close up to the eyeball (laughs) I love that. They just give me so much peace. I love it. <laughs> they just calm me down. Someone else's <laughs> life is worse off than mine. I'm still good. <laughs> I, love it. I need to know why this is such a thing. It is. It's such a thing. Oh it my really gosh. is. Yeah. I love it. Um, Hannah, how about you? Um, I wish I could say I was reading good, valuable books. I read yeah. shitty rom-coms like yeah they're, me too. yeah they're incredible Mahari McFarlane has gotten me through this year love everything she's written um so that is probably my biggest um I also love Ted Lasso I am I am going to be the spokesperson for Ted Lasso everyone should watch it yeah it's delightful I'm... it's pure um and it's my comfort show it's it's great yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, I've been I've been hearing so many good things about Ted Lasso. And also I need that book list recommendation, please and thank you. Absolutely, I got you. Okay. Okay, great. Okay. Love, love Ted Lasso, by the mm. way. I binged it so fast. It is so funny and so heartwarming. And he is such a lovely button of a man. Like he just <laughs> you just can't help but love him. Truly. <laughs> oh, it's oh. so good. Yes. <laughs> Well, that in summary, I love that it, we ended with a feel good. We ended with like feel good yes. things. Uh, so this is our team minus obviously again, minus Grace and Nicole, who you'll meet at some point. Um, but uh, Nicole does all our QC, by the way, we didn't talk about that, but Nicole does just a bunch of awesome stuff. Um, as you can see, we have a group of people that are like super intelligent, incredibly charismatic. You never get to see them on screen because, you know, we have to, we have to have more, no more than two hosts, sometimes one. I'm not really even that necessary. Um, but I want you to just see how shiny everybody is today. And also hopefully you'll glean, you'll glean some, uh, some information out of out of this and get some recommendations for some new podcasts for some binge watching over the over the Christmas season, you know, watch Ted Lasso and then watch a a true crime thing, and just (laughs) combine them, drink some vitamin C, and then finish your night off with a Rick and Morty episode. (laughs) All while doing your makeup. (laughs) All while doing your makeup, drinking French Earl Grey tea from David's, Uh, which this episode was not sponsored by. Um, Um, but uh, audience, people, our BBs, our lovely friends and family and loved ones, I hope that you have the most wonderful winter. It is officially the first day if you are in uh, this part of the world. Um, if you are in South Africa where Raquel is, uh, who knows? Who knows what's happening? She Summer. has two, go- two, 
tiny baby goats <laughs> living outside. I just got sent a video of her playing with two tiger cubs, which was thoroughly upsetting um, because I did not want her. To, I did not zebras. want you to do not adopt the tiger cubs. You are not going <laughs> to become giraffes. Tiger King. <laughs> <laughs> and all of the things. There's crocodiles in the pond down the way. This is I'm, this is very scary. This is more the, worse than any true crime to listen to is you telling me what your morning is like. <laughs> well, thank you again. Raquel, do you have anything else to say before we say goodbye for 2021? Happy winter. I think that's it. It's been a long one. And I hope everyone gets the rest that they need because people are shutting down early this year and I think we all needed it. So mm -hmm. I just hope everyone gets their rest. That's it. Rest up, babies. Okay, see you soon. Bye bye. Bye. Thanks for listening, Bombshells. In order to continue to elevate, subscribe and don't forget to click that little bell so you can get notified every time we have a new badass brunch. Until next time, stay focused, fierce, and fabulous.